Thank you to LG Cinebeam for sponsoring a portion of this video. So now that iOS 16 and the iPhone 14s are official, there's a lot of things coming to iOS 16. Some are secret, some need a detective to dig through 16 menus and settings to let you know what is there. Call me Sherlock, I got some tips to tell you. Here are some of the best tips and tricks that I think you need to know about. So none of these tips will get you unblacklisted by Apple, uh, but this one will help you get rid of duplicate contacts. So no matter how hard you try, it always seems that contacts get duplicated at some point on your iPhone, leading to multiple entries for the same person. So when you go to your contacts list at the top, you'll see a new section called duplicates found. This will do what you think. Uh, it'll show you all the contacts you have that appear multiple times. And from there, you can either merge them or ignore them. So let's say hypothetically, you want to call somebody and you don't want them to know that you're calling them. You can actually hide your caller ID. So before you dial a number, dial star 31 hashtag or pound. I don't know, I always get yelled at when I, the thing that looks like this. Then dial your number and then it'll show unknown caller on the other end. You're welcome. This one's like less of a tip and more like a, like a heads up, but it's something, it's good to know. So now in iOS 16, your recently deleted and hidden photos album, so if you've deleted or photos or hidden them, uh, it's now going to show up in the photos app, it's gonna be password protected by default. Uh, I guess it makes sense if you had an image or delete one, you don't sort of want anyone to be able to see it. So it sort of makes you enter your password or use face ID before seeing anything. So the key to hiding your photos, um, make sure you really hide them. Another quick, like good to know about iOS 16 is that live text now work uh, with videos, actually. This is a feature that was announced last year, uh, but it lets you copy text from the camera or a photo. It never worked in videos before, but it will with iOS 16. And now, not just videos you take, but any video you've saved on your phone. So, pretty neat. All right, so this one I've talked about in previous videos, but your iPhone relies on internet and data connection to work obviously. Uh, so it's kind of strange, the only way to see what signal strength your phone has is super little bars in the corner. Uh, there's a way to get much more information. Uh, it's called field test mode. To use this, go to your keypad and enter star 3001, this thing, one, two, three, four, five, you know, this thing again, and then star. Uh, you'll now enter a menu that shows you all the information related to your cell connection, things like signal strength, band information, and a bunch more. There's a lot of info here. Want to learn more about your network? This is the place to do it. So we've covered a lot of projectors uh, here on the channel. And in the world of projectors, there are some that are good. There are some that are pretty solid, but there's really only a select few that are great. And LG tends to make pretty much all of them. And the top of their line, the big daddy of ultra short throw, this is the very shortly named uh, LG Cinebeam HU915QB Triple Laser 4K UST Projector. It's a long name for a really amazing projector. The big one to know, it's made by LG. LG's got the name and reputation for building sort of the best TVs and projectors for, for pretty much ever. Uh, it's also a 4K projector. It's not gonna have any loss of resolution. Another knock on older projectors was you sort of didn't have the full resolution that your stream was giving you. Not so here. Uh, and the other knock on projectors has been brightness. Uh, LG's got your back with this one. So they've got something called the brightness optimizer feature. So for the first time, this is really unique to the 2022 Cinebeam models. So you're getting a brightness of 3000 lumens here, which is actually way brighter than previous versions uh, of this projector. So this thing will work incredibly in any light environment, in bright lights, obviously incredible in dark lights. You don't have to worry about that washout feature they used to have with other projectors. And because it's a UST, so that means ultra short throw, this can be like inches away from the wall. You can get sort of between 90 or a 120 inch display, which is just absolutely bonkers. I don't know if you've ever, first of all, watched a movie on a display that size, but if you've ever played a game, any sort of game on a 120 inch screen, like these characters that you're playing are in some cases bigger than life size. It is one of the most immersive experiences that I have ever tried uh, in gaming. If you're interested in some awesome projector information and want to learn more about the LG Cinebeam HU915QB, or now you've got just the name HU915QB ingrained in your head, check out the link in the description below to learn more. 
So it took Apple 16 versions of iOS to bring a feature that has been on Android since basically the beginning, and that's haptic feedback on the keyboard. Uh, the iPhone has always had, I think, the best vibration motors built in, and it always made sense for Apple to add this, but for some reason, uh, they just didn't. Uh, time is finally here. Turn it on, go to settings, sounds and haptics, keyboard feedback, and just toggle that B on. Uh, now every letter you type on the keyboard will be accompanied by a slight vibration, which almost makes it feel like you're actually hitting a physical button. And speaking of vibrations, uh, we all know you can set custom ringtones on your iPhone, but you can now create custom vibration patterns to go along with it. So go to settings, go back to sounds and haptics, and go to ringtone this time. At the top, you'll see a vibration option. So here you're gonna find a bunch of preset options like alert, pulse, heartbeat, uh, and a few others. But if you tap the create new vibration, you can tap the rhythm that you wanna use and set that up as your vibration for a phone call. So like, if your lady friend calls, you can be like tap, 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 tap. Or your mom calls, you can be like long, you get the gist. So your phone has a special code assigned to it. It's like it's social security number. Uh, it's the IMEI, and when you are selling your iPhone, it's important to sort of have that handy. Uh, there are a few ways to find it, but the easiest is just to go to the dialer and do star, this thing, zero six, this thing. This will bring up all the codes associated with your device. Uh, this is super important to have because it helps prevent theft and fraud. And usually when you go to sell your phone on services like Swappa, they ask for the IMEI. If you don't have your box, it's hard to find, but it helps the service check to make sure the phone is actually yours. You don't need this number very often. When you do, it's important to know how to get it. I don't know if you all have this problem, but it seems like more than half the phone calls I get these days are spam calls. I even get spam calls that show up on caller ID as myself. It's getting pretty advanced. Every time my phone rings, I pretty much expect just to not answer it. It's annoying. Apple did give you a way to at least try to help with it, and that's by silencing spam calls. So to do this, go to settings, phone, and then toggle on silence unknown callers. So make sure that any phone call from someone you don't know is sent directly to the wasteland of your voicemail. Don't worry though, if you want to, it'll still be in a recent list, so the number ends up being real, you can still find it and call it back. iOS recently started supporting game controllers from Xbox and PlayStation, so you could use those to play iOS games. In iOS 16, you can now use Nintendo Joy-Cons and Pro Controllers with your iPhone 2. As long as you own a current gen console, be able to use uh, a controller to game on your iPhone. So by this point, we probably all know that our phones track every single thing that we do, including everywhere we go. I'm not here to talk about whether or not that's good or bad or the ethics of that, but there is a way to see what your iPhone thinks is your most important locations. So go to settings, privacy, location services, scroll all the way down to system services, and then finally tap on certificate locations. So here you can now see what your iPhone thinks you visit often, like your home, work, or another place. If there's anything inherently bad about this option, but now you know it exists and you can choose to disable it if you want. Let's say if you have gray in your beard, the sound is very familiar to you. Uh, back in the day, this would be the sound you heard when you tried to call someone if they're already on the phone. Uh, these days though, the iPhone still has this feature, but it's implemented way differently. So now you get an incoming call, it'll pop up, and then you can put the person on hold. This will turn call waiting on. For some reason, you want to turn it off. Hit star, this thing, 43, this thing, uh, and call waiting will be disabled. And if someone calls you when you're on the call, it'll be sent straight to voicemail. And that's it. There's obviously a bunch of other flagship features in iOS 16 and Apple announced, but these are some of the biggest ones. But if I missed one, and there's one that you're like, John, super important, everybody should know, leave in the comments down below.